Trouble urinating is always annoying, especially when you have an enlarged prostate. It's progressive and it gets worse. You tried medications and you didn't like it and then you finally had a procedure done. So first of all, let's go back to what didn't you like about medications? With the medications, I struggled with, I always felt congested. Um, it just, uh, you know, it just made me feel uh, uh, like I had low energy and all that because of the congestion. Side effects. Um, and then the side effects, um, the dry ejaculation, um, just, uh, you know, didn't work for me at all. Um, I wasn't happy with the medications from the day, pretty much the day I started them. And so how did you end up deciding to have uh, the Eurolift procedure done? Um, I, I went back and forth, you know, I came into the office and they kind of told me my options, um, looked at the, the different options. I, I really was hesitant to have it done because I was concerned that, you know, maybe my symptoms would get worse instead of better from the procedure. Um, but uh, ultimately it, it just seemed like the best fit for me. Tell us about your experience uh, during, if you can remember the procedure or right around the time of the procedure after, how did you recover? Um, the recovery wasn't too bad. Um, the first uh, uh, couple days were rough. Um, I had to run back and forth to the bathroom all the time. I had blood in my urine um, for about three days. Um, after that, no blood in my urine, started to have less frequency issues. Took about a week. Um, if I had to do over again, I would take a whole week off of work just to make sure I was good. But um, took about a week or so, and then as um, far as just uh, frequency of urination, yeah, Got mostly it. it was mostly the frequency of urination because of my work. I'm I'm out and about a lot. So, Got it. Um, um, so mainly frequency, um, the pain in urinating and all that, once the blood went, you know, within that first week, I didn't really have a whole lot more with the pain. Sounds typical. Okay. Um, and how are things now? Um, now things are much better. I can go through, I don't have to urinate for probably four hours or so. Um, some, sometimes I just don't even think about it anymore where it used to be a constant thought every time I got to go somewhere I'd have to think do I need to go to the bathroom before I go sure and sometimes by the time I got there I had to go that's wonderful um, so now um, for the most part I, I can just not even think about it and it's been great a lot of people think that this enlarged prostate is an older person much older person's problem would you mind sharing your age um, I'm 46 Okay, so it, in my experience, I have treated younger guys like you with urinary difficulties, and your situation is not uncommon. Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like it, it shouldn't be affecting me yet at this age. Yeah, but um, typically not. But I do see some men with this problem early on in life. Okay, important for forty-six and even older guys: sexual function after Eurolift. Sexual function. Um, after having the procedure, um, it took a little bit when I would um, have sex and ejaculate. There'd be a uh, kind of a strong... Um, pulling sensation? Pulling sensation. Uh, How about now? Um, now, um, there's kind of a mild sensation. It, it, it gets better like each time. Okay. So any, I expect it'll be totally gone. Any so, dry orgasms? No dry orgasms. Everything functioning... Uh, properly, Very no good. issues with that, and um, probably, uh, you know, I don't know if this was sooner than I was supposed to, but probably the first uh, time I ejaculated was about a week after the procedure. Wow, excellent! Um, uh, and it was painful that first time, but it, like I said, it's um, each time it's gotten better and better, and like I said, it's it's pretty much gone now. One problem I see with the Eurolo system is that it it has really changed the, the, the thinking of post-op recovery. It has really spoiled people. In the past, any procedure that we did, recovery is much, much longer. And now we are all complaining about one week recovery. Right. Yeah. So it's very interesting. Yeah, the week was really, like I said, those first few days were rough. Um, but by the week period, I, I was feeling a lot better. Would you recommend this procedure for guys who are suffering from enlarged prostate and urination issues? I would. I'd recommend it. Um, like I said, I was hesitant to do it, but now it's just given me a lot more freedom and, and uh, you know, ability to make it through my day and, 
Enjoy life. Enjoy life, yeah. May I share this video with those who may be interested? Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah.